Hello to the amazing person who clicked on this video. This is going to be a super easy Professor Evil challenge tutorial. It's a really easy challenge if you guys know what to do, and it's not too hard. You guys should be A-OK -okay to this. And yeah, we're just going to start off by going straight for Destroyer here. It's probably not the best play. You probably could greet it out and leak down to like 15 lives and be A-OK. -okay. But honestly, we're just going to play the safe here. Go for a Destroyer. You're going to want to start by getting your... Um, boat by getting the grape shot and just setting it on close here But once you get your destroyer by upgrading it three times on the left side, then you're gonna want to reset it back on first So we're waiting. We're saving up for our destroyer um, At 46 seconds we can get it on first here. It is speed with fire Which means it's different for eco for one We're gonna be getting double eco from sending balloons for two We're gonna be getting our eco back faster normally you'll get your eco back every six seconds But with speed you get it back every four or five seconds. So yeah, we're gonna be getting more eco faster um, which means it's always a good idea to eco here. On the contrary, if we eco, those balloons are coming straight back at us. So we're going to have to defend our own eco here, basically. Um, and yeah, we can do that. We just have to uh, make sure that we're defending at the same time. We don't want to leak down that low here. Um, basically, just playing this safe, I guess. So we're going to start by going for a lightning wizard here. And the placement of this is pretty key. You want to place it right outside this entrance. And this is because you want it to hit the far outside track eventually. Um, he's going to super balloon boost us some leads, but as long as you have a lightning wizard, which is just a 2-1 wizard and a 3-1 boat, then you will be A-OK -okay to this rush without problem. You might leak a couple lives, but that's alright. Um, as long as you still retain like two-thirds of your lives, we have 105 lives here, that's awesome, then we're good. We don't need to use any of our spike storms or any powers for this. We're chilling. Yeah, so... We're basically going to go for another boat here, getting up another destroyer, and we want to get camo detection on all of our boats and stuff eventually around round 10. He's going to rush us with a fairly hefty camo rush right here, so yeah, we'll be okay. The other thing you can do to these rushes is if you're feeling a little sketch on these or if you don't have enough money to get your boat or something and he's rushing you with camos and you've already used up your spike storms or you don't have any spike storms, you can just plop down attack, sell a destroyer, upgrade the attack to a maelstrom, use a camo shred, use that maelstrom. I'll talk about that later. But he's going to send these little rushes here and we'll be okay to this. The one time that he does send these regen rainbows on round 14, all you're going to want to do is use one of your spike storm abilities. It's a really, really simple defend. Look at his side. We don't get 100k lives that's that's fun but um yeah imagine there was actually like a 100k versus 100k life challenge with professor evil that would just be crazy but uh yeah so we're just upgrading our boat here we're gonna get this cannon ship down and eventually it's gonna become a boat pole but he's gonna send us a moab and all we're gonna do to this moab is upgrade to this tornado wizard here and the tornado wizard will get all these ceramics and stuff if you didn't get the tornado wizard you'd still probably defend with a lot of lives leak but we're just gonna get it play it safe you know he's gonna super bloom boost to bfb just sell your wizard boat pull it there you go. Never, ever, ever rush a boat player with a BFB in a normal game. You never rush a boat player with a BFB. You lose way more money sending the BFB and way more eco sending the BFB than they lose just selling a one plantation boat pulling and being fine. They're going to rush us with a fairly hefty camel rush here. I started spamming towers because I thought the challenge was over. Um... But yeah, just make sure you keep up your defense, and if you want, you can get up like a fire breath or something else. If you want to be A-OK, -okay, super duper, all right to this. But yeah, you can also use your other spike storm here, which is always good to help clean up these balloons. And look at this, this is such a fun challenge, I don't know. This was just easy, I love these easy challenges. The easy challenges are just not a lot of sweat, but still kind of some fun stuff and some figuring, figuring it out, and it's something new, right? So, that's always important. Um, and yeah. Look at this. He has a Maelstrom, but he's not using the ability. But the Maelstrom on this map would be so satisfying if there were, like, region rainbows coming out. I'm not surprised to see that in some Maelstrom satisfying video thing. So, yeah, I'm showing here if there's ever a Camo Rush, and let's say you used a Spike Storm early game or something, you can just use your Camo Shred and then use a Maelstrom, and the Maelstrom will cover all these Camos. Camo Shred also does slightly increase attack speed, so you could use that for, like, the Moab or something. I don't know. But yeah, we're A-OK -okay to that. Hope you guys have an awesome rest of your day. Peace out. I will see you guys next time.